We're now going to look at a short answer assessment question type. As you can see, I can modify the points here. So I know that I'm going to have two blanks in this short answer. So I'm going to give two points and I'm going to allow partial credit. So if they get one blank right, and I'm going to round down, they'll get half of the points. So they'll get one point for each blank. You also have a series of options here regarding the answer. So you could be case insensitive. It could be a numeric with significant values, regular expression. Regular expression allows you to actually use a regular expression like dot asterisk to accept any value in a short answer as a correct answer. So there's interesting things you can do with regular expression. You have math expressions as well. But in this case, we're going to have multiple correct answers and we're going to show the correct answer. So we're going to turn on a couple of these options. So we're going to go ahead and write the question here as we did before and we could format the question if we want. So now that we have the question with two short answer fill in the blanks, the first answer we can choose the correct answers. So in this case we would accept warm, I can hit enter to set the first question, or hot and hit enter, and both of those are, are valid. If I wanted to split my points up I could, but either one of these are going to be worth one point. So I can set that up. Now if I hit enter again, it's going to go to the second fill in the blank, which in this case breathe through there lungs is the only right answer and so we're good to go there so now we could preview the question you'll see it comes up the dolphins are warm blooded and breathe through their lungs if you wanted to have a phrase and have it be exactly correct you could put in Thomas Jefferson and then hit enter and then that phrase is the phrase that has to exactly match. So it's the enter key that sets each one of the values. To set the question simply click on the left hand side. You can now go between the questions. You can drag questions if they're not aligned appropriately to different outcomes. We're now ready to add a new question.